Hi friends, today our topic is Cauchy-Schwarz inequality. Cauchy-Schwarz inequality states that uh, if x and y are two real valued random variables, then expectation of x, y the whole square will be less than or equal to expectation of x square into expectation of y square. We can prove this inequality as Um, we are considering a real valued function that is x plus ty that whole square. Since it is a square it will be always greater than or equal to 0. Now by the properties of expectation a random variable x greater than 0 will imply expectation of x all, it's also will be greater than or equal to 0. This is a property of expectation. So we can apply this property here. That is expectation of x plus ty that whole square will be greater than or equal to 0. Now we can expand this term by a plus b that whole square. So expectation of x square plus t square y square plus 2 into t x y greater than or equal to 0. Applying expectation to each terms expectation of x square plus t square expectation of y square plus 2 into t expectation of x y is greater than or equal to 0. We can arrange these terms as t square expectation of y square plus 2 into t expectation of x y plus expectation of x square greater than or equal to 0. Now this is a quadratic polynomial in T. If a quadratic polynomial is greater than or equal to 0, we can say that its discriminant b square minus 4ac is less than or equal to 0. Here b is equal to 2 into expectation of xy and a is equal to expectation of y square and c is the constant term. Here it is expectation of x square. So b square minus 4ac will be 4 expectation of xy that whole square minus 4 into expectation of y square into expectation of x square and this is less than or equal to 0. That is 4 into expectation of xy that whole square is less than or equal to 4 into expectation of y square into expectation of x square. We can cancel the force on both sides. Then we will obtain expectation of xy that whole square is less than or equal to expectation of x square into expectation of y square. Now applying this inequality, Cauchy-Schwarz inequality, uh, we can obtain some of two in, uh, two important results. The first one is correlation coefficient between x and y. Correlation between x and y and uh, its correlation coefficient is denoted by rho which is always less than or equal to 1. This result can be obtained uh, from Cauchy-Schwarz inequality. That is we are going to replace x by x minus x bar and y by y minus y bar. Now put these values in expect, uh, Cauchy-Schwarz inequality that is expectation of x y that whole square means x minus x bar into y minus y bar that whole square less than or equal to expectation of x square that is x minus x bar that whole square into expectation of y square y here it is y minus y bar. Now this is the covariance between x and y. So covariance x y that whole square less than or equal to this is the variance of x and this is the variance of y. Now we can write it as covariance x y divided by standard deviation of x into standard deviation of y that whole square which is less than or equal to 1. This is the expression for, mathematical expression for rho, rho xy or correlation coefficient between 
x and y. So rho square less than or equal to 1. If rho square less than or equal to 1, we can say that modulus rho less than or equal to 1. Now the second result is mean deviation of a random variable x will be always less than or equal to its standard deviation. For that, uh, we are going to replace x by modulus x minus expectation of x and uh, y by the constant 1. Now applying in cauchy schwarz inequality, expectation of mod x minus expectation of x into 1 that whole square is less than or equal to expectation of mod x minus expectation of x that whole square into expectation of 1. This is the expression for the mean deviation. So we can write it as mean deviation of x that whole square less than or equal to and this is the expression for the variance of x. Taking square roots on both sides we will get mean deviation of x less than or equal to square root of variance of x is standard deviation. Thank you for watching.